It was a joint committee of uh, 15 local authorities who had a common purpose in uh, securing a good outcome for their, their population, five and a half million people. Everybody knows about our campaign and I think there's a reason for that. I think um, you know everybody pulling together, whether it's been the local press and it's been um, all the societies involved, the, the Health Overview Scrutiny Committee, we've had Leeds Teaching Hospital um, working with us as a charity and the public, I mean the public really fully understood the campaign because of all the bodies involved. Well, the main benefit, I think, has been a, a democratic benefit because um, the problem with the process, uh, as I saw it, was fundamentally a democratic deficit. And that is the region's voice uh, and the people therein weren't being heard. And the scrutiny committee acted as a very effective conduit on behalf of them. Well, I think on a regional basis, what we've seen is a huge groundswell of support from the public. You know, seeing 600,000 people sign a petition shows the strength of feeling that that has done a great awareness of the campaign. And nationally, people are aware of the fight going on in Leeds, in Parliament and in NHS England. They know that we've been fighting hard for this. Toby's had two lots of heart surgery at Leeds already, so from a personal aspect it is really important that the campaign has, has kept Leeds in the spotlight. Well we've had a really good experience at Unit, although we've been through very stressful times with Amelie and she's had three lots of heart surgery there, um, without them you know, we wouldn't have our daughter here today.